This one stock market fund can help you build incredible wealth. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a fan member, thank you. Guys, remember to do all that fun stuff down there. Follow me on Instagram, the link is down below. And let's jump in. So let's get straight to you guys. In this video, we're gonna go over the definition of the Dow Jones Industrial. Then we're gonna go over the average returns over the last about decade, we'll do 10 years. And then we're gonna talk about why index fund investing is a solid long-term investment strategy. And then finally, we're gonna go over where to actually invest in this fund. Disclaimer guys, this is not investment advice. This is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So first things first, let's go over the definition of what the Dow Jones Industrial really is. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, also known as the Dow 30, is a stock market index that tracks 30 large publicly owned blue chip companies trading on the New York Stock Exchange and NASDAQ. The Dow Jones is named after Charles Dow, who created the index in 1896 along with his business partner, Edward Jones. In English, Matt. So basically, the Dow Jones Industrial is 30 large companies in one fund that the average person can invest into. It's a very stable investment over a long period of time. A blue chip stock is a large company that does well in good times and bad times and is considered a safe, less risky investment over something that's more volatile like a new startup or a tech firm. Therefore, you know that the company's gonna do good in good times and the company's gonna do good in bad times. So it's very stable. That's the purpose of this index. And basically there's six main indexes in the stock market. And today that's the one we're gonna go over is Dow Jones Industrial. So now we know what the industrial is. It's the 30 large companies in this fund. Some of the companies that are in the Dow Jones Industrial include American Express, Apple, Boeing, Caterpillar, Chevron, Goldman Sachs, Home Depot, Honeywell, Intel, Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola, JP Morgan, McDonald's, 3M. You want the full list, you can uh, link down below. We'll put that down there for you guys to look at. But basically it's 30 really large companies that we all know and love and it's a very safe, steady investment that you can put your money into and say, okay, during bad times it's gonna make me some money, during good times it's gonna make me some money. It's very steady. It's a good fun to include in your stock market portfolio. All right guys, so we have the rates of return of the Dow Jones Industrial here. We have the year, the average close, the year open, the year high, the year low, the year close, the annual percent change. So in 2012, we had a 7%, then 13, we had a 26%, 14, 7%, 15, negative two. So 2% 2 down, not bad after you get all these. So three good years, one okay year. You, you know, you lose a little bit of money. Remember, you don't lose money until you sell. So you don't really lose that money unless you actually cashed out at the bottom. So then you got 13% the year after, 25%. You have a negative five in 2018. 2019 was 22%. 2020 was 7%. 2021, 18%, very nice. 2022, we had a negative three so far. We haven't finished the year, so we'll kind of see how that rides out. And we'll do more videos about the overall stock market in 2022, see how that's done, all that fun stuff. But yeah, guys, I mean, very steady, very good fun. Like I said, these are the returns from the last 10 years. So it's good to look at them, good to kind of know what we're looking at and to say, okay, you know, 18%, 7%, 22%, very good returns on our money. So yeah, that's kind of the uh, overall 10 year return of the Dow Jones Industrial. So we went over the definition of the Dow Jones Industrial. We went over the average rate of return. Now we're gonna go over why index funds are a good investment strategy. Why is index fund investing a good strategy over long term? So basically the indexes have always been solid. We went over the S&P 500 a couple videos ago. Now we're going over the Dow Jones Industrial. They're same, they're just groups of different stocks, different companies that uh, make up the actual stock market and it's kind of the averages. And like I said, they're good, solid investments because over time they're gonna make money, they're gonna go up. As we saw with the S&P 500, similar, the Dow Jones Industrial also has good rates of return. So now remember, Mutual funds are a large group of stocks in a fund that's actively managed by a fund manager and their goal is to try to get better rates of return than the index. So basically, you do index fund investing, it follows the stock market, you get a good percent per year, especially if you diversify over multiple indexes. Like I said, S&P 500, there's the Dow Jones Industrial, there's the NASDAQ, there's the New York Stock Exchange. You can do the Russell 2000, 
you can do the total stock market index. There's a ton of different indexes. And basically, if you diversify over all the indexes, you're gonna create wealth over time because basically you're following the stock market and usually the stock market goes up over a long period of time, you know, let's say 10 years or 20 years, and you're gonna do well. So that's why index fund investing is, is a wise thing to do, but it kind of diversifies you. And then you can do, you know, you can do mutual funds and you can also do ETFs, you can also do REITs, and then you can also do the indexes. So the indexes is just one part, but if you do index and fund investing, you do mutual funds, Mutual funds are supposed to outperform the index because they want to beat the index because they want to get better returns. Now, mutual funds are actively managed. The indexes are passively managed. They just follow the stock market. Actively managed basically means there's a fund manager actually doing something and, and uh, looking over it and making different moves inside the fund and make, making sure that you know, you have the best chance of making money, but the index just follows the stock market on a daily and yearly basis. It's good to have index funds in your portfolio and it's good to have mutual funds because they kind of balance each other out. And remember, the more funds that you use makes you more diversified. If you had two or three funds, you know, that's plenty. Even if you had four, if you had two mutual funds and two index funds, you know, you're in a really good spot because basically you're diversifying and you're gonna build wealth and make money over time. Maybe in the short term, you might lose a little bit, but when you're playing the long-term game in the stock market, you're bound to win. But that's why index funds are a good way to go because they diversify you. You can do mutual funds and index funds. But like I said, even if you just did index funds, you did the S&P 500 or the Dow Jones, those are two steady funds that will make you money over time. If you just invested in those two, that's a great mix, small mix, just two of them, of uh, funds that will create wealth over time for you. Just takes time and effort and dollar cost averaging, a monthly input into the fund, you know, $100 a month, $500 a month, whatever you feel comfortable with. But if you dollar cost average over time into index funds, good things will happen. All right guys, finally, where do we invest in the Dow Jones Industrial or the other stock market indexes? Well, you can go to Charles Schwab, Vanguard, you can do it through your Roth or your traditional IRAs at work many different ways, but basically you go there, you set up an account, you say, okay, I want to invest in the S&P 500, I want to invest in the Dow Jones Industrial, I want to invest in the NASDAQ. We're going to go over the different indexes. Yeah, guys, so index fund investing, that's, that's what it is. We'll kind of go more in depth as we keep going. I want to do more videos about this. I'm very passionate about this subject and I enjoy talking about it. And I want to help you guys create wealth for yourself and start investing and you know, get out there and have good, solid investments to make money over time. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself. See you guys in the next one. Peace.